Good afternoon everyone, Sheila here in Boho Daydreams and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful day. It's still Friday, um, but it's afternoon now. And I've been trying to get this done all day, but for one reason or another, I've been procrastinating and I'm just going to do it. So in an earlier video, you heard me uh, talking about doing a series um, uh, a series on sweet pea and just going through the steps and the things that you need, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm going to go just through some of the basic things that you need. I'm also going to link them in the description box below. Um, and um, today we're just going to be focusing on the things that we need and painting and kind of how you paint them etc etc so this is this is the one i'm working on um, and i've got her to the point now where i can start embellishing her and that's what you see the clothes pins for so i will close pin it all up until i'm ready to um, glue it all down so i'm going to get out some of the stuff that we're going to need and i'll be right back so for today you're going to need some of these index cards and these are incredibly heavy heavy um, cardstock they're um, pretty thick and the person that was selling them on amazon doesn't have any anymore from where i got mine from but i did find another source so i'm going to link that below in the description box so you're going to need 12 of those because that's how many we use in our little mini these are three and a half by five, but I also purchased four by six because um, the mini is super, super cute, super fun to make, and it can be made in all sizes. So I went and got some of that. Um, you're going to need your paints, a variety of paints. I want to do it in more of the seaside. Um, I just, I love, love, love seaside. I've dyed so many packages like that, and now I want to do a... Uh, little mini in this and this one is oh, I'm so excited about it so I've just got myself some shades of um, paint and as you can see it's all the different brands and I got these from Joann's Hobby Lobby Michael's um, some of them I've had for ages who knows where they came from could have even come from Walmart oops sorry about my hands I also like to have some white paint in case um, it's a little bit too dark. I can lighten it up and you'll also need your gesso and it doesn't matter what kind of gesso you have. It's perfect. Um, I had let my gesso sit for too long, so it was more like a modeling paste. So um, I got this one off of Amazon. Um, it was just really easy. I like to do online shopping because it's super, super simple. Um, so what you'll also need to prepare for, for the next day, the next series, is you're going to need some napkins. And I've already taken the, uh, taken the uh, papers apart. I've taken my napkins apart. And I save these pieces here as cleanup because I'm super messy. You'll need papers for, your, for the next video also. And I like a variety of paper. Um, so I have embossed paper. I've got antique stencil, uh, antique ledger paper, um, some antique French paper, music paper. I love old paper, but you can use whatever you have on hand. And I love, love, love the white, bright white um, uh, paper to emboss with. So if you don't have an embossing machine, that doesn't matter. You don't need it. You're going to use what you have. And if you do have embossed papers, grab that because you're going to need it for the next day. You'll also need, um, oops, some archival ink, whatever color you want. I haven't had this up till now. I've been using this. Oops, oops. I was using this. And you have to be so careful because that runs. I've made super mess. I have to do redo a few pages in my 
my little sweet pea that I'm working on just because. So this is black and I'm going to link that in the description box also. You're going to need some of your favorite stamps. And I have a lot of favorite stamps. But I like the swirly ones and I like the ones that have words on them. And so these ones here in the white little envelope are from uh, Lorna Taylor. And I love them because they have words. I love this one because this one has, oh, this one has this stamp in it right here. So I love that. So it says journal. So Lorna Taylor, if you, if you are in the market for some of her stamps, you'll just have to get a hold of her. She doesn't have uh, a group or anything like that. You'll just have to get a hold of her on Facebook. She's in all the groups, so you can't miss her. And I just found, oh, here's another one of my favorites. I love this one. And I think these are Blue Fern Studio stamps. I, lo I love those. I Don't quote me, though, because I don't really know. I do not really know, but I love this. I love this one. I just found it, so I'm going to use it. It's got all these words in it. And when I make envelopes, I always, always use that. So those are the things that we're going to need for the the next project, the next um, the next step in the series. And you'll also want to find some of your laces. And I just have a stack of antique laces that I use. I have so many laces you know, um, that I have saved over the years. And so I love laces that are soft and that um, are flowy. You know how soft they are. I love that sort of thing. But if you don't have that kind of lace, you use what you have because it's beautiful regardless. New lace is very, very beautiful. I know because I buy that too. It's just that I have a lot of this. Um, let's see, what else will you need for the next day? You're going to need a palette knife or something that you can spread gesso with. Um, and you'll also need, well, you don't really need this, but this is like a miracle um, glue, uh, what, what, what have it, because you use the matte medium and your nap can stick so nicely and there's no shine if you get the, the matte gel medium. I'm going to link that in the description box. If you don't have it or if you want to get it, um, it's going to be there. And then also you're going to need, and I don't have it sitting here with me right now, you'll need gold flake, some gold flake. Um, and... I don't know where mine is right now. It's here somewhere. I have a super big mess. So you'll need some gold flake and you'll need some glue. And I use, um, oops, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. I use, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Fabri-Tac. And I put it in this little bottle. It makes it so easy to use. Um, if you've never tried these Sugar Bell bottles, I'm going to link that in the description box because if you have hands that are super tired, you know, and you suffer from hand fatigue, they are amazing. And I also have my little bottle that I always fill with, um, oh, what's it called? Art glitter glue. So you're not going to need those today. You're going to need those for the next day. I'm going to be glue paper on. So I need 12 of these. You're also going to need a surface that is, um, can tolerate being painted on. You'll need some paintbrushes and water also. So one, two, three. Okay, I'm back. I found the gold leaf and um, it looks like this. And if you have some, if you might have it in a little, a little container where it's all kind of broken up. That works too. I just like this better. It's easier for me to control it. And the one thing about the, um, the gold flake, you don't want to use a glue stick because I did that. And my, um, my gold leaf the next morning had all fallen off and I had to redo it again because it just won't hold. All right. So I popped some gesso into 
my little container. I have my water sitting here and I've got some napkins sitting off to the side. And so I'm just going to, let me see, what color do I want to try first? Um, and when I'm looking for paint, I look for matte paint, matte paint, matte paint holds glue better. It's just simpler and there's no glare and everything kind of just blends together but you use what you have because it all works all right so i want to eat, i think i want to start with the marina mist so i just take the lid off like that because i don't really care oh i guess i should have shaken it up a bit make sure you shake your paint otherwise you'll have a bit of the oil that sits on top that oil is kind of important because it kind of keeps things so that it glides glides nicely all right so let's pop some gesso on putting gesso on first when you're looking for index cards um, you can use postcards too that's no problem you can if you have postcards you can use them because you're just covering them up just make sure that they're nice and heavy so you want to put enough gesso on let me just get the camera up just a bit more I've got to learn how to um, have my camera positioned a little bit higher. And then once you've got your gesso on, you're going to put your paint on. And I just dip right into the paint. And you're just going to swish it all over. And you don't have to be careful because you want the different um, variation. And it's kind of hard to see right now. But it's very, very light. And it's just a little bit of paint all over the place. There you go. There's one. And then you stick them off to the side to dry. Um, let me see. I'm going to do a darker one now. Let me see. And I'm not going to do all these with you because you don't need to see me painting. Painting forever. You don't need to see it. Oops. Shake it up first. This one here is a robin's egg blue. Oh, I see I have a lot of robin's egg blue. Must have liked it when I was in the store. <laughs> I must have liked it when I was shopping because I have a couple, a couple of them. Oh, yeah, I do like that. So I just want this to kind of look like the seaside um, uh, package that I make because I just love that color. It does remind me a bit of, of the sea because I lived on the ocean in a, a seaside villa for many years. And it was very, very noisy because it was very resorty, but I did love it. And so um, I, I just love the color. It's what it looked like when I, oops, it's what it looked like when I was there. Now you're gonna have to excuse my fingers because when I paint, I paint colorful. So you're going to paint the front and the back of all of these papers. All your little index cards and give it a lot of gesso because you want the paint to blend with it but still to be individual let's see what did I use I used that one okay we're going to go with this one here I like this so shake it up at one time when I was still living in Canada I was just so much in love with paint I bought so much paint because I had this I had found Pinterest and I saw on Pinterest I do like that color oh yeah that's really pretty so um, you can take a look and see the different shades and this is what you want you want the different shades so once it's all put together it's going to um, just kind of look like the tassels look with all the different colors so I lived in the seaside resort and it was very, very, very noisy because it was very touristy. But I lived there for like, I think, eight years. It was so much fun living there. I mean, I opened my windows, my doors. my In my condo at that time, I lived so close that I had ocean spray on my windows. Completely wrecked them. It just etched right into right into the glass it was crazy i didn't know it would do that but it did oh here's another one this one's pretty dark so we'll see 
We'll see about this one. Ooh, that's pretty. And if you don't like it, you can just... Oh, wow, what's going on with that? You don't like it, you can just uh, paint over it. Hmm. That's, that's something. I wonder, I wonder if I need to shake it a bit more. Anyway, I found Pinterest then. And I wanted to make those beautiful... I found the fairy, fairyland planting pots. And they had these... What were they? They're the earthenware pots or, you know, those those brick orange red pots. And I was just in love with them. So I bought all this paint and I didn't even have a place for all this paint. But I but I bought it because I had the dreams I was going to paint all these pots, different colors. And I even bought these antique um or oh, what are they called? The the glass that they used to put around um, cabins, their tubs and their um, backsplashes. There was somebody selling like all of them. They're like boxes of them. I bought all of them because I thought, oh, this would be so, so pretty if it was, um, if, it, if it was in my garden. And so I bought all this stuff and I must have bought like, I don't know. 40, 40 planter pots. And you know what? I never painted one of them. But I had ideas that I would. You know. And I'm sure they would have looked really lovely if I had ever gotten to it. But I was in healthcare. And I was saving lives. And I did a lot of life saving. And you know what? I just didn't have energy or time. I didn't have time. After I was finished working, I just never had time to do anything else. Because it just kept me so busy. Anyway. So this is part one. It's rather messy and it is just a little bit time consuming, but that's what you're going to do. So you're going to paint up all 12 of your little index cards. And then when they're dry, you're going to flip them over and you're going to paint the other side. And you know what? If it gets some uh, particles on the other side from flipping it over, like, you know, like that, don't worry about it. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. There's Nothing going to be imperfect about this. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful day. And um, get yourself ready for the next segment. I don't know when I'm going to be able to do it, but it should be soon. And then we will go on to step two in the next video. Bye.